Hello guys, welcome back to Sun Crypto. In today's content, I'm gonna show you my most bearish uh, Bitcoin call, at least for the short term. Unlike uh, Mr. Restani uh, calling for 12k BTC, which has you know agree with him, uh, we could uh, BTC has a potential to uh, uh, you know go up to 12k. I'm also gonna show you on uh, on the video why we could be also potentially go to 12k before a major major retracement down to a uh, below uh, uh, down to some low numbers below 3k area. All right. So if you haven't watched that video, I'm gonna put a link of that video in the description so you can go and watch mr alicio uh video at least for the short term so you can understand what i'm showing you so let's take a look at it uh in terms of a bearish uh, setup right alicia already showed you the bullish setup so i'm the link is going to be the link going to be in the description right so the bearish setup what i'm looking for at least for the short term i'm looking for a major correction on the macro scale a wxy correction right so in terms of Elliott wave you guys know we got what we got a uh, impulse waves right we call it motive waves and corrective waves so corrective waves sometimes they can come in wxy right or they can come in like a, a abc correction wxy is a basically very complex correction it is a three 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 most of the time three three three, three moves like you get three way move down three way move up and another three way move uh, uh, to the downside so these waves they are uh, tend to involve like some abc correction that's why we call it like a 333 so you're going to get abc right abc and then you're going to get another abc correction and um to avoid saying like a wxy repeat you know all the time you, to avoid saying like abc correction all the time you just say wx and y correction okay so that's what we that's a move i'm anticipating within this range as you can see we got a this move we got a clean you know three-way move on the lower degree you can see like a, you know the the corrective move we got uh from like a 5k area 7k 9k area to 7k area was a uh, a corrective wave before the push to 14k and we anticipating this move to be also a three-way move down all the way down below 3k level so it is a clean three wave move if you look at it on the macro scale uh, it is no doubt it is a three-way move all right so but you know if you're very bullish you might ignore the wxy correction and you're going to be looking for one two three uh four five impulse wave up to 30k 40k all right so let's let's dive it into why i believe like a btc going to be uh seeing major major sell-off within the next uh, few months i do agree with alicio we most likely going to be dropping before september october area but the drop okay the severity of the drop is not just like uh, below 10k it could be a major 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 drop uh, below like a 3k level all right so now let's dive into the analysis i'm going to show you some bearish patterns okay so to take a look at the bearish patterns we're going to dive in into the uh, uh the 21 day candle that's a 21 day candle already okay so i'm going to show you a bearish pattern a very successful bearish pattern for bc okay it is called a tweezer top all right so a tweezer top you're gonna get a candle just like this all right you're gonna get a a big green candle and next to it you're gonna get a very big green candle uh close to one another okay in terms of body structure uh 90 90 80 to 90 percent uh similarity okay you got one right there you got one right there you got one right there okay so and you got one right there so if you've been following this channel as long as we got this tweezer top just about like a first week of march something like that uh end of march end of april uh, actually end of february i was like okay guys that's it we're most likely going to be seeing some lower numbers where was our target target was like 42 to 5500 right and as you can see bc dropped all the way down to 38 to 4k area depending which exchange you're using okay so that was a successful call so now what are we looking for we're looking we got another setup in terms of bearish structure not just in terms of elliott wave but in terms of bearish candles pattern okay so it is called a spinning top okay we can ignore this green one and it looks like this all right so you're gonna get a small body candle and you're gonna get a wick to the upside i like to call it big wick big tail small body in terms of hakanashi but this one is not hakanashi it's just like regular candle okay so the first bearish setup we got was like a 20k so if you just like join uh, basically the crypto space back in 2017 early 2018 you might not recognize this uh, bearish top formation and you're going to be calling for a 30k 40k 50k btc and as you can see 
most analysts analysts been saying like in two to three years we're gonna basically gonna hit 50k okay and at basically just about this level of 6k most analysts did not basically pay attention to the tweezer top right we got another tweezer right there another bear setup okay every every single you know analyst most analysts 99 percent of the analysts was saying this is not going to break 6k guess what we we dropped 50 percent okay so once again 14k we were calling for bc to drop down to like a 5k 0.618 you can see like most analysts was ignoring okay most analysts were ignoring the tweezer top okay we drop all the way down to 4200 once again bc was at 10k i was like do not buy btc above 10k we about to capitulate down you can go march first i uploaded a video if you if you don't uh, uh if you haven't watched it i'm gonna put a link in the description we said bc 50 percent drop we did drop so once again what do we have we got another bearish setup guys take a look at it same exact setup same exact setup what's the difference between this one and the one we got at 20k it's no difference guys no difference take a look at it okay let me clean up the chart no difference okay so we got right there we got another setup just like that yep. so most of these setups guys they basically 99 percent accurate all the bearish top formation i seen for btc on a macro scale 21 days not like daily not like weekly not like 10 days five days chart but on the macro scale on the 21 days not even monthly but just 21 days candle it is showing us we're about to see a major major reversal okay can we break 10.5 absolutely okay we can get a fake out and hit like a 12k i'm absolutely uh open to that and i got a basically an elliott wave count for that i'm going to show you uh, very shortly if we break 12k what type of structure you could be looking for but once again that's your top formation you got your spinning top once again pretty much same thing as you got back in 20k area so now let's say we pump above let's say 11.5 to 12k are we going to invalidate all the bearish setup no we're not going to going to invalidate it because i showed you in terms of Elliott wave we got wxy we got w x y correction right remember your y do not break your zero point uh, point right and then we got also a w x y right x and z correction we are we basically if we pump above 12k right we're going to go with the w x y correction in this area we're going to go with w if we break 10 5 we're going to call it w x and y right but as of now we're looking for a w x y x z correction you're going to tell me what's the difference once again right the difference is this we got w x y x and z so i'm anticipating bc not to break 10 5 but if it if like bc breaks 10 5 and hit 12k like i said 12 we, we got a potential to go to 12k but 12k could be the absolute top and the drop we're going to be anticipating could be much 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 more aggressive than most analysts as alicio is basically anticipating it's not going to be a drop just below 10k and then we're never going to see uh 10k again and say like oh see ya bye bye uh i don't ever want to see you again all right so be cautious right once we hit 12k first thing first it is time to basically take profits and basically wait for the retracement the retracement could take like a three to six month guys so if you're swing trading that's a, that's a good thing for you if you're day trading it could be very very uh, tough time a very challenging time for you all right so at least for the short term that's all i wanted to cover uh you know we basically could be seeing some much much lower for btc if we break 10.5 but i do not think as of now we're gonna break 10.5 but if we do we got another major resistance at 12k area so i'm extremely bearish up to 10.5 and if we break 10.5 i'm open like to uh, go all the way up to 12k and then basically i'm gonna say bye bye see you i don't want to ever see you again all right so make sure to hit the likes make sure to join our public telegram group link in the description if you want to upgrade to my uh, premium members make sure to send me a message we basically analyze ethereum xrp eos and and some other major art all right so thanks a lot for watching make sure to hit the likes once again and uh, basically subscribe to our channel